Hello viewers and welcome back to my channel. I am Dr. Shruti and in today's video we are going to discuss about hand dynasty art. So let's get started. Hand dynasty introduction and art. Han Dynasty Introduction The time period of Han Dynasty was 206 BCE and 220 CE. The Han Dynasty divides into two periods. Number 1. The Western Han and B. The Eastern Han. The Western Han capital was Chang'an in present-day Shanxi province. The Eastern Han whose capital was further east at Laoyang and in present-day Henan province. It is known as a progressive period of Chinese history as they have invented a lot of things in Han Dynasty. Han Dynasty invented a number of technologies and science achievements. They invented water clocks, sundials, astronomical instruments and developed paper as well. Han arts and culture. In western and eastern Han eras, the dynasty has done wonderful work in the field of visual art as well as poetry, literature and music. The major work of Tom has been revived in both the eras. Funerary Tomb Art As they used to believe in afterlife, they have done the wonderful work of funerary tomb art. Han Dynasty people used to believe in afterlife. They used to put figurative terracotta sculptures known as Mingchi or Yong in the tombs. Thus human figures were included so as to perform various functions for the decreased such as dancing and playing music other different types of art can also be found in hand tombs such as red and black chinese lacquerware they used to work with lacquerware on the coffins and in the decorative parts banners and costumes which were made of silk small items made from jade or metal Hand metalwork and jewelry art, ivory carving. Ivory carving was another prized skill. Jade carving. Jade was a stone. It was very precious. Jade was believed to contain cosmic energy and possess mystical life-giving qualities. Jade carving was complex and time-consuming to carve. And jade objects were both rare and costly. Only the king wore two jades known as Zen. Zen was a highly precious stone which, which was only wore by the king. And others, the lower people, they were not allowed to wear the, that costly jade. And it was very high in quality also. Now, lesser jade tones known as Yuan, Zing, Gong, Gu, and Pu. These were the lower category jades which only the nobility were allowed to wear, the lesser jade tones. Jade suits. In the Han Dynasty, jade suits were designed. Each suit was fashioned from over 2,000 jade plaques together. 24 ounces of gold thread was used. Each suited body was surrounded by up to 10,000 objects the art. Another even more luxurious jade suits made from more than 4,000 plaques. Plaques were the small pieces of cloth on which they used to use thread and jades uh, and make a design and then they used to put on the suits. Now comes sculpture and painting. Han Dynasty bronze sculptures 
reached new heights. Miniature bronze statues of men and women were also produced. Decorated mirrors, lamps, and gilded bronze ware. Bronze ware were the utensils they used to make with bronze, and the invention of paper enhanced their narrative art. Hand painting and drawing was also done on silk, lacquer, stone, and tile. As you all know that they were the inventors of paper. They invented paper. So when they invented paper, their narrative art enhanced a lot. And before that, they were doing painting and drawing on the silk cloth, on lacquer, on stone, and on tile as well. Beginning of the Buddhist sculpture in Han Dynasty. The Buddhist sculptures were started making in China. Now, first Buddhist missionaries had come to China in the Han Dynasty. Buddhism was established at court during this period. While the Buddhist temple becomes the model for the Chinese temples, then the sculpture work was started in China. Buddhism left a large imprint on Chinese art. Buddhist art had already moved into metropolitan China. Even though Tunhung is the most ex extensive and the longest surviving cave temple site. Now, they used to make temples in cliff and mountains where the stone is easy to carve. Tunhung is the cave temple which is surviving till now. Here, the stone is suitable for carving and the entire decoration is carried out and in freestanding sculptures. There were some sculptures which were in relief and some which were in the standing position. The poses of the Buddha and in details of the head dresses and costumes of the bodhisattvas. Bodhisattvas uh, were the monks who used to spread the Buddhism. The style and the same Solomon of Buddhas with their elonged limbs, long face and quiet smiles. This is all about the topic. Hope you have understood the topic explained in this video. And if you have any queries or questions regarding the topic, then leave a comment in the comment section. And don't forget to like and share this video. Subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for the notification of upcoming videos.